one of the five kilometers of uphill racing, going from sea level to 3,275 meters. The Taiwan Comp Challenge, one of the hardest races I have ever done. I just woke up. I didn't have the best sleep this night. 10 past 4 already. Because I was in bed te texting some friends. Most of my friends are still awake and they're going to bed right now. And I uh, woke up. In 40 minutes we have to be in front of the hotel because we will leave for the start. So, um, quick breakfast and... Yeah. Get ready. I'm not ready. <laughs> Jasper, yeah. you ready? Yeah. I only the only thing I need to do is cut off this uh, tie rip. Yeah, I have to re I have to put those on. I'm going to go oh, because I, uh, I, uh, I'm I'm late. Okay, I'm fully kitted up now. Helmet on. <laughs> Everyone is downstairs already. Only me and the guys from Cycling Tips US are still here. So um, I'm gonna put the camera on the back and. Uh, Let's go to the start. Are we ready? We are ready. Rock and roll. This is the 20 minutes before the start. We are at the lineup. Great place to be. Among all the pros. And the ceremony will start in 10 minutes. Because of our bit number, we could start in the first section with all the elite and pro cyclists. We were lucky this year with a big CC lift team competing in this year's race. Four minutes. This is my last update. Let's go. Jasper. Good luck, mate. Good luck. The first 80 kilometers of the race is still at sea level. This flat part of the race is neutralized. The pro riders are on the front in the first line and it's not allowed to pass them. I have to give props to the organization, it felt safe riding in the neutralization and everyone respected each other. After 80 kilometers the climbing begins. This is the part where the start sign is given and the race really starts. Here in the front, in orange, you see my friend Jasper Fugel. It was our first event together, so it was fun to see how strong and skilled he was riding to the peloton. At Taiwan Comp Challenge you have to ride with bike lights. There are a lot of tunnels on the road and as you can see some of them can get very dark. Riding this race was rough but next to it being one of the toughest races out there I think it's also one of the most beautiful roads I've ever ridden. Even on this speed I was amazed by the roads and the beauty of my surroundings. I remember my friend showing me pictures of a six month backpack trip he made earlier this year. One of those pictures was this red bridge. When I saw the picture I was intrigued by the look of it. The bright red bridge in the middle of this rough nature. So it was a pretty cool moment on the bike to cross this bridge in real life. In this moment I realized it's awesome to see what beautiful places and adventure a bike can give you. What's awesome about the Taiwan Com Challenge is that the organization always manages to get pro cyclists to enter the race and go for the win. In other years they had pro cyclists like Adele Evans, Lars Ten Dam and Vincenzo Nibeli. This year it was Nathan Haas from Katusha and the full CCC lift team.
So this is a lift center very best with former world champion Mariana Foss and Ashley Ma and Ashley Moment Passio who got third in the Giro Rosa this year. Here you can see me riding in the wheel of Mariana Foss. You can recognize her from the world championship rainbow stripes on her sleeves. Six kilometers into the race. It's the point moment I got dropped. Dropped ourselves. Yeah, but I got dropped. I went this guy. So I'm riding my own pace now. Jasper's still on the front though, he's doing good. Getting dropped is never nice, but after I chose my own pace, I rode solo for about 10 kilometers, which was actually quite a cool experience. I got the chance to look around and be amazed by this extreme mountain. Past a half the waypoint, a few kilometers away, half by a waypoint in altitude, not in kilometers. And uh, I've been riding alone for a couple of kilometers right now, which is quite fun. I have no one to help me, but you can enjoy the roads alone, that's awesome. Look who we have here, getting on back on my wheel. Almost there. Uh, almost there. Getting my beautiful. I saw some sunshine just now. Yeah, How are you doing? Yeah, I'm quite good. I'm doing my own thing. Hey, hang on, I got my tempo. After a short jet, Paulina got back on the pedals and flew up the mountain. I saw some guys trying to stay with her, but they got dropped pretty fast. It was fun to see these pro girls at work. We are 2,000 meters, 70 kilometers to the top. This is where the altitude will kick in. My legs hurt already like crazy. They say the last 14 kilometers are the hardest. I'm at 82, so I'm 10 kilometers away from the hardest part. And. Uh, Fuck me, it's hard already, but look at this, this is just beautiful. Uh, 3000 meters, I'm really 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 feeling, feeling the altitude right now, so, crazy, made a new friend. What's your name? Ray. Ray? Yeah, Ray. You're from Hong Kong? Uh, I live in Hong Kong, but I'm from Mexico. Nice. That's Ray. I don't know if you see, can see this gradient, but it's gonna go. It's, good from, it's fucking steep. How much? 20%. Woo! Uh, dizzy. One turn at a time. This is the hardest part of the race. I hear some monkeys on my left side. And I'm very dizzy right now. I'm swirling a bit. So I'm gonna put the camera away now and start cycling. Yeah, and I saw some monkeys. We're four kilometers on the top. I feel like throwing up. The headache. And the altitude. Dude, really got to me. 
fuck, but it's so beautiful. I'm never doing this again. Doing an effort on high altitude is much different than doing an effort at sea level. Here you can see I was completely toasted. Just one or two kilometers before the top, I decided to give everything and push all my last energy to the finish line. I think 400 meters before the top, this happened. I hit a very steep section and exploded. You hear me try clicking the gears, looking for more gears, but there's none. Even the last few hundred meters, I couldn't even push out the sprint. It was just trying to stay on the bike and try to turn the pedals. After a couple brutal hours, that was it. The Taiwan Com Challenge was done and dusted. Another bucket list item checked off my list. So was this the hardest day on the bike? Probably not. I've done some tough stuff in the past, but that was all due to extreme weather or extreme distance. The Taiwan Com Challenge I rode in perfect weather and was still very tough. But if you look for the toughest four hour race you can do to really challenge yourself, this is probably it. It was still really hard, I must say. I've never done anything like this, you know, climbing for so long, literally. It was really hard. Oh, I, I had a headache, like 10, 10 k to, to go. I had a headache. Yeah. And when the providers don't have this, 